guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. As a model for the last almost decade, I've gotten my eyebrows done countless amounts of times and they always do them in a very similar way and it doesn't have to be difficult. And also the wrong way to do your eyebrows because you want to avoid that at all costs. So stick around to the end of the video to see what that is. So before we start, if you like my videos, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on when I upload a video. And here at my channel, I like to post videos on living intentionally with style, humor, transparency, all that jazz. So if you like hanging out with me, do that and we will get right into it. Okay guys, so I had to lower my camera down because I'm so I'm six feet tall and my tripod was just not cutting it because I was bending in my knees, so that was a no-go. So I'm sitting now. First step is finding your right shade. So I am dark blonde, so I have number two from Goof Proof from Benefit and it is an amazing brow pencil. And then I go over it again with the mascara wand in the same color. So if you go too dark, you look crazy, like you have permanent marker on your face. And if you go too light, it doesn't really show up the way you want it to. So finding your shade is step number one. Step number two, drink some matcha, just joking. I love matcha, it's so good. It's like a life hack to be skinnier and more energetic. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna look in this mirror so you can see me do it. And you guys, this is a pro tip. Your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. You don't wanna make them look exactly the same because they're not going to look the same. You're gonna go crazy trying to get them to look the same because they're not gonna look the same, okay? So what you're gonna do is just draw tiny little strokes with the pencil or crayon. That is your color, just to fill in those little sparse spaces, okay? And you're gonna do that all the way and follow where your hairline is. So don't go outside of that because it looks really obvious when your natural hairs disappear and you have color painted on your face instead. So you're just gonna fill in all of those little blank spots. And because this is my shade, it goes on perfectly and I don't have to be too precious with it because it's not gonna show up too dark. Okay, so I'm just filling in my eyebrow where there's already hair and just going through the blank spots with a light hand with the shade that works for me. I'm using my chin as a tripod for my palm. That's why I'm talking so weird, okay. So you're doing feather-like strokes quickly. It doesn't need to be forever. Just to fill in those sparse little spaces and just make your eyebrow look fuller. Okay, next step I do is take the opposite side of my crayon, which is a mascara little brush, but there's no, um, there's no color on it, it's just like a dry brush. And I brush up to get all the hairs facing the same direction, and then I'll brush over. I don't like my eyebrows to be sticking straight up. I know that's fashion-y, I'm not into it, because some of my eyebrow hairs are longer and shorter than the other, so I just like to kind of like make them all look clean by brushing them in the same direction. So I'm to the other side, brush over, brush over, make them look clean, perfect. Okay, so step four is going over with my mascara, Gimme Brow, Benefit. This is not sponsored. These are just my favorite products as of right now. And I'm just gonna go over my eyebrow with this gel to kind of keep it in, in place and then also just do a little bit more filling of those spaces that I didn't get with the crayon just to kind of finish everything up. Super quick and easy. You guys, this can literally take two minutes at home. I'm gonna do the other side. No! Just dropped it. Uh-oh, probably has hair, dog hair on it. I have two dogs and their hair is everywhere. But I'm just brushing my hairs in the same direction, filling in all of those little blank spots so that everything looks really full and thick, but not too thick, and filled in, but not too dark. That's a big thing. Okay, so for the last step for me, you don't have to do this, but this is what I like to do. I like to go with concealer in the middle of my brows and kind of just trace around, just to kind of give a more clean look where the dark is dark and then the light is light. So makeup artists have done this too, not everyone does it, but it just kind of makes my skin look nice around my eyebrows and it just makes everything look a little bit more clean and smooth. And I just like to kind of even the skin tone out all around my brows so that my eyebrows stick out even more. Um, in a good way. Okay, so like I said, I would fill you in on the absolute worst thing that you can do when you do your eyebrows, the biggest mistake people make, and that is filling them in too dark and not following their hairline. So they draw way outside their hairline thinking that people are not gonna be able to tell that they don't actually grow hair there. It's It looks like you drew permanent marker on your face and it's super obvious and super distracting. So I would stay away from that if I were you. I mean, if that's your look and you're doing it on purpose, 
cool. You know what? That's you. <laughs> you do that. But for quick and easy brows, go with a color that matches your root shade or even one step lower than that. I'm a little bit lighter just so that you can build on it and be sure that if you draw a little bit outside your hairline because you're just a beginner, that's okay. It won't make the biggest difference because it's lighter and you could always just smear it away. Let me know if you do this, if you have another way of doing your eyebrows or if you have another product that you love. I would love to hear what products that you guys love. Comment below, like the video, subscribe, and I will see you next week for another video. Thanks for watching. Mmm.